Hello guys, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care and uh, we're finished mowing for the day and I came home to find that I got my fuel station in the mail um, I ordered this off of Amazon.com it's the John Dow Industries 15 gallon fuel station best I can tell this is exactly like the uh, fuel station that Ballard sells. It's a little bit cheaper on Amazon, but not much. Um, you're talking like 10 or 15 dollars, and it doesn't say Ballard on it, so you know it's not as cool as that one. But anyway, this one cost me uh, 180. That's what I paid for it. And what I'm going to be doing is pulling it out of the box. As you can see, I kind of emptied my shelves off, and I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put this. Alright guys, I'm gonna need both hands to get this uh, to get this all set up. But there's the nozzle, and it's uh, all metal. Uh, looks like all aluminum and stainless nozzle. There's your grounding wire, cap, vented cap, uh, instruction manual, and the hoses in there. Ten foot. So it's a ten foot half inch inside diameter half inch hose. Pretty basic, you just take the uh, Teflon tape that's provided, put a few wraps on this end and thread it on, tighten it up with a crescent and uh, same thing on this end, put a few wraps on, thread it on and tighten it up. So uh, the 10 foot hose is on there, the cap is on, I don't have the ground wire on, to be perfectly honest I probably won't use it, but it's there if you want it and I'm gonna Go set this on the front shelf and just kind of see how see how that works. It's not going to fit on the top shelf. Wouldn't really fit on the second shelf either because you wouldn't have enough room to get a nozzle in here to fill it up. Uh, so basically all of that boils down to the fact that I'm going to have to put it somewhere else. Thing's just bigger than I expected. It's 16 inches tall. It's 12 inches deep and it's almost 38 inches long. When I made this shelf, I made it not expecting it to be quite that big. After thinking about it a little bit, I've decided to build some shelf brackets. So what I'm using is inch and a half by inch and a half angle. This is just steel angle. It's eighth inch thick. Okay, uh, you could go heavier, although I don't think it would really be necessary. This should be more than stout enough for what we're using it for. You could build this out of steel or aluminum. If you're going to go with aluminum, obviously you need to go thicker and probably bigger than inch and a half by inch and a half. I'd say if you're going to do aluminum, I'd go a minimum of two inch by two inch and uh, probably thicker just because of the strength factor. But uh, the good thing about this is that if you were using aluminum or steel and you didn't have access to a welder, you could bolt this together at these three points, uh, drill, drill through them and bolt them, and be done with it. Uh, you wouldn't have to weld it. Welding is going to be a little bit stronger, but obviously you have no room for error if you weld it as far as adjustment goes. So I like to weld. I have a welder, so I'm going to weld mine, but if you're doing this for a similar reason you don't have to weld it you can bolt it together so just throwing that out there uh, my pieces are 12 inches long for the shelf part 10 and a half inches out from the edge of the angle which is all I need to get to the edge of the leg on the fuel tank and then the uh, the angle or the the brace piece started out at 12 and by the time I messed up one piece and then cut them both the same looks like they ended up at 11 inches long so uh, 11 inches should work out great I should have one leg bolt right about here and one leg bolt right about here so having this not all the way out to the end is gonna save me some space for one and also leave me the proper placement for my bolt holes and obviously this is two brackets and I laid them out side by side to make sure that they're 
a mirror image. Now these are 36 inches long, and the only reason that I'm going with that length is because that's the length came at. Um, I could cut them down probably to 30 inches, 32 inches even would be fine. But since they came at 36 and I don't have a use for the 4 inch piece that I'd be cutting off, I just decided to go ahead and go with that length. So um, I've got a little piece of scrap that's underneath the ends as simply as a spacer so that everything is uh, flush and square. And I'll check them for square one more time before I start tacking everything in place. But I'm going to go ahead and weld these up and then we'll drill all of our holes and uh, mount these to the trailer walls and then we'll be able to mount the tank to them. And of course I'm gonna to have to paint them before they're cleaned up and painted. I did all my welds on the inside, and so I welded three sides. Well, I actually welded as many sides as I could get to, but uh, down, over, and then across and down, down, over, and across, you know, same same all the way around. I, I welded as many, uh, many surfaces as I could so that when you flip it over, you just have the clean, uh, the clean shelf bracket. Now this will be the side that you'll see. So this will be like the right side of it, and this would be like the left side. So the side that you'll actually see will be these two sides. And that's what I meant about having a mirror image so that you have an inside and an outside of the shelf brackets. Well guys, my intention, as you know, was to put the fuel tank on the top shelf. And there wasn't enough room, and so I had to rethink my whole idea. One of the most important things is to get it up high, because it's a gravity feed type of fuel tank. So, as you saw, I made the brackets, these shelf brackets. I uh, got them all painted up and mounted in. Now they're screwed right into the stud with inch and a quarter self-tapping screws. They're a quarter inch thick self-tapping screws. Got two in the bottom, and then for right there's number three, four, and five. So three in the top, two in the bottom. Uh, the tank is mounted, as you can see, to the brackets, bolted down nice and solid. I did leave just a little bit of gap between the tank and the bracket. So if there's any movement there at all, it's not rubbing up against it. And honestly, guys, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's not what I originally had in mind, but I think this is actually honestly going to be better. And there's a couple reasons why. One, it frees up the shelf space that I would have been taking up with the tank. It would have taken up most of that shelf because of how deep it is. And another thing, too, is with it mounted right here, 10 foot hose I can reach all the way back to the fill cap on the back mower. I can reach the second mower obviously and I can reach the FW15. So basically I can reach every mower in here from where that's mounted. Um, another reason why I think this is going to end up working out better is because I have this flush mount fuel door. I've had this I don't know close to a year. I bought it for my other trailer and I never installed it. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to install that probably right here, somewhere in this area at least, between the, between the wall studs. But I'm going to mount that so that I can pass the nozzle from the pump in through from the outside through that door. And I'll be able to fuel up this tank. And then if I mount my, my Green Touch gas racks over here, gas can racks, um, then I'll be able to fuel everything up in one stop and the only door I'll have to open would be well either that door or the side door doesn't matter which just so I can get inside the trailer um, but that's also the side that my my truck fuels up on so I can pull up fuel up my truck come back to the, the premium pump which is what I use for my mowers and my small equipment and I can fuel up right there so I don't have to move anything I don't have to you know do a bunch of shuffling around carry gas cans out any of that kind of stuff. I don't have to turn my trailer around so I can come through the side door. Um, I think that's just going to work out a lot better. So um, now as far as how secure is this? So the gas tank with 15 gallons of fuel, 
uh, the weight of the tank plus the weight of the fuel, you're looking at about 150 pounds. That, that was the only thing I was concerned about with putting it up on the wall is the amount of weight. Um, that's a lot of weight in one spot. And so what I did is I, I got it up there, I got everything mounted, and I weigh 185, guys. So what I did is I grabbed the two top handles and I just hung on it. Um, picked my feet up off the floor like I was going to do a pull-up and I just hung my weight on it. And there was absolutely no budging, no creaking, no, no issues whatsoever at 185 pounds. So the 150 pounds that's normally there shouldn't be an issue either. Should be plenty enough screws. The shelf brackets are definitely strong enough. And I think, I think it's going to work out great. So the next thing to do is mount my, my flush mount door in here. I think I'm going to wait on that though. I'll update you as soon as I start getting some more of my stuff in here. And when I get ready to use it, I'll take you guys along, show you how it all works out. But as always, thanks for watching guys. Get out there and make some money and we'll catch you on the next one.